Hello and welcome back to another video guys. In this video uh, I'll show you well the issue we have on this actually is the navigation so if we just turn it on even with it being on if we hit map this is the only thing that comes up everything else works fine like uh, you can go into vehicle but it's just the minute you hit map and um, that's all you get all day long so no, nothing else so what we're going to do is do a update and code it back to the vehicle using the hotel machine and i'll show you how to do it obviously this is the ultra light um i've plugged it in as you can see and i'm going to pair it all up and then take it from there Hi guys so from here it's quite a big tablet here so what we're going to do is go into programming so it's just warning us of what can happen and what can't if you're not careful so what we need to do is basically connect this which we have okay and then it's telling us we need that cable usb cable so i'm going to take it out and then pair it up to that and then put it into the top Here we go. we've connected this so on the older models um some of the older versions you'll probably have to pair quite a few more wires up to get to this stage um it should kind of tell you what you need to do anyway so we'll move on to the next stage it'll take a while i know to get to the programming and coding section it may take a good few minutes and then you'll have to pair it up to um internet as well so i'll connect it to the phone or even the wi-fi whatever's easy at the time so here we go we just hit okay and it'll take us on to the next stage it's now telling us that's okay so only running the engine so the battery is full because it's gonna in a second it'll turn the whole vehicle off um for the coding and you may take a good 10 20 minutes and then when the batteries on these are low it can just shuts itself down so i just want it to kind of charge up even though it's all fully charged but we just do it in this sense so when units replace i'm just gonna say no you can do as well but we don't need to so <clears throat> i would go into programming and coding because that's where you can actually update coding it i'll just pair it up that's about it but if you go into programming there we go okay <clears throat> and then you'll probably so selective update you can even do the control unit so it's already highlighted the things that need you know kind of updating um, but I'm not overly interested in any of these really um, the only things we need let me just undo all of them front electronic module it's going to be the unit head unit program and code controller which I think is that as far as I know driver mm, da -da -da -da, aircon, I'm not bothered about that roof That'll be to do with all this, uh, which we don't need. Uh, that's it. So we'll do that. Hit OK. I'll now ask for Wi-Fi or something. Mm. Do you want to back up? Yes, we'll do a backup as well. So here we are. It's telling us it's going to take roughly 17 minutes. It could be quicker, it could be longer. It depends on if, if I did all them, uh, as it highlighted, I will honestly be here for about three, four hours because I know it takes forever. So, okay, so now it's telling us. Okay, it's fine. So it's gonna, I'm gonna connect my phone to it. Okay, it's all connecting. Okay, so it's going to download the file, it may take a few minutes, and then once it's ready it will tell us to turn the vehicle off. So here we are, it's going to download, um, it's going to take a while by the looks of it, um, I'm using my own hotspot. Guys, as you can see, look, it's been at it for a good 2-3 hours just to download the head unit module, it's taking forever but um, I guess this is the only way around it just to let it do its job so 
after about three, four hours, guys, as you can see, I think last time we were on, we were about three o'clock, probably seven. Because the time's inaccurate, but still. And it's managed to do it. Uh, now it's done that. So it's telling us, it'll tell us to turn the car on as well. So now it's telling us to do this, um, which we have done, more or less. So the Ethernet cable, let's have a look. There is another cable here, which I'm going to grab. There is another one in the box as well. So it's... Yeah, guys, I'm back here now. I've managed to find a five meter one, five six. I think it's six meters. Uh, it doesn't matter. You can always pick it up from shops. Uh, I, I don't know where I put my original one. It doesn't matter. They're all the same. So, anyways, that's all good. I'll put ignition on. Hit OK. And then, even for the older models, you've got to like plug all this nonsense in, really. Um, even with the genuine dealer software, you've still got to plug a few cables in with the Ethernet and stuff. Um, I know that, but uh, let's have a look, see what we get after oh, here this. Here it is, all this air uh, must be removed. I'm just going to double check, there shouldn't be anything in there. Uh, turn the fan off as well, that uses up quite a bit. So, okay, turn the engine off, ignition on, which we have. Uh, voltage must be above. There is a bit of a ball like, so... I'll just let it run, just so it charges up. But obviously, every time you turn the engine off, it will be below like, well, it'll be around about 12. I'm just gonna kind of fool it. And here we go, turn off, ignition on, hit okay. Oh, that's good. So, it's gonna now, it's different to coding. If you're coding, you will take literally with 10 minutes, 15 tops. But because you're doing the programming, so it, what it does, it gets the latest file, puts it on there. But that does not mean it will upload the latest map or navigation on there. It just kind of puts the, um, takes the bugs out and stuff in that sense. So you can do it for the gearbox. You can update the gearbox and the engine, the airbag system, the stereo, um, the airbag control module you can update everything on the car more or less um and then you can specifically go into it's called cheat coding so this has named it as cheat coding and don't ask me why but i highly recommend you do uh, an update first like as in sorry a backup and then uh, do the bits and bobs so basically what that means is the cheat code you've got for instance you can make the speaker so like the sound system uh change it to something else um make it better worse um the headlight the if it's like xenon like this car race you can make them brighter um you can do so much with it um it's unreal what you can do but obviously don't forget this will only do a percentage of what dealer software does here obviously the ignition's off because it's done it itself and hear that that's all normal because that's just doing all the pairing in there thing in the background so taking so long this i'm not gonna lie but um still on that second and then once it's run and done that i'll move on to the others as well here we go finally decided to do it so what i've done i've come back out and i've gone back into it again and from there <laughs> i've did, i've said don't back it up um but yeah this is where we're at and obviously it's going to take some time it's going to completely wipe everything and reinstall it obviously i won't be worried about any of this i'm not bothered because after it's coded everything in they will all disappear but in a second this is going to give us a percentage well, it's gone well. to the next one and it's giving us a little time scale for each one as you can see you can see the one percent on the left side and the time on the right side so it will only go up in that sense here we go guys it's still on there still working as you can see still doing its bit of game so here we are it's gone through quite a lot of modules in this um so you've got that the gateway left 50 percent um, and then we're on here so here we are after a good 30 minutes still at it um that's just done a whole page, it's now on a new page. Here we go, it's done that, it's brought that back to life. Obviously, I'm not worried about the ABS and stuff. It will be on there as well, we're not bothered, it'll code it all in in a second. So it's just playing up with the speakers as you can hear. 
So here we are, it's just doing the final bits. Uh, these should be very quick, it should be a case of literally a few seconds, not long to be fair. Um, and once that's done, it'll just do a complete shutdown, um, delete all the fault codes within the memory of the car, and that'll be it really. So as you can see, the faults have gone, because it's coded it in. This is the moment of truth, guys. So everything's deleted, waiting for this to come back on. Once it does, yes there you are so it's all working fine all done and there is certainly nothing on here there you go sweet as sugar